tested. Yes. So for season two, where are your characters to start off? Are there going to be things that maybe little hints or clues that bring things back to a point? Where are you going to So I think it's interesting to remember the strength of the hides that our characters have. So because like my character Lilith has the hide still attached, as do each of us werewolves, that when we start out, we don't really know what's going on, but because our hides are so strong and they can have that strong sense of when magic is happening and then hearing that ringing, and so I'm just going to leave you with that, with uh, uh, a clue into how much we might remember or might not remember. Will we ever find out then about the previous life in terms of being in the Order and why Edward picked her out? Why Edward? And why she was expelled. Oh. Well, they. I was talking to Dennis last season. He purposely left that section open just so that we could get into it this season. I've only read two episodes, so as far as I know, we haven't gotten into it yet. But that was something definitely that our showrunner Dennis was really interested in exploring and, and, and discussing through this. There will be any sort of side effects from being powdered, you know, maybe physical effects or anything like that. I mean, I don't think it's physical effects from being powdered. I think it's more physical effects from the magic and us not knowing what the heck is going on, like what's happening, what does this really mean? Um, but yeah. You'll have to find out to see just how much we do or don't remember because depending on the dosage, um, based on last season, um, you could forget for like like when Alyssa messed up the dosage in the last season when she was powdering Jake, Jake uh, Jack's character, vice versa, you know, <laughs> Jake Jack. Um, so we don't know exactly how much we've been powdered. We don't know uh, for how long. If you remember, well, at the end of the season, Jack doesn't even remember his name. So it's like, it's pretty intense in that, but we get to understand why, what the plan of action is moving forward, and how the are going to be Whether it's about like her actually loving Jack as part of this collective uh, in being a knight, I think like it's hard for Lila to show that vulnerability. But she has such a big heart, and even though she's like a hard ass, she still um, yeah has so much love and care for the people who are in her life. And so um, there were sprinkles of that through season one, and will continue on into season two. And there are um, some unexpected love interests that come into play. So I'm really excited to our audiences to see that and to share that. Uh, and a lot of people have had some speculations around Willis' sexuality. Um, 
I'll leave you with that. <laughs> and in terms of um, the relationships, because you know that obviously their memories are wiped so they don't remember the order, but that has to then impact whether they remember the night as well. Oh, definitely. And so what's they're gonna relate what's the relationship of the nights going to be? We saw we heard in the scene obviously that they're still together, or uh, sort of, you know, maybe living together, but then how are they working together as a pack I guess? So essentially, um, leading into season two, the Order is trying to keep the Knights apart. And so, I can't go into details about like how they come together and how they reassemble or how they start to clue into what the heck is going on and that they must know each other. Um, but the Order is desperately trying to keep these werewolves apart from each other uh, and control the situation. So does that then leave, like you were just mentioning, gaps really for new characters to come in because they're obviously not playing together? And is there any particular ones you can talk about? I don't know if there's anything that I can talk about right now, but I do know that there are new characters coming in. Uh, I know that they are also focused on diversity and inclusive casting this season, which is something that I'm a huge advocate for and think is really important. Um, but yeah, there's going to be some new faces and new members of the Order and... I will say that uh, Silverback chooses a person because at the end of season one, uh, Jack has taken on Midnight's Hide and now Silverback chooses somebody in this season coming up. In regards to you getting the rose again, I mean, when you did the reading, you guys got the rose, does this have any uh, impact on you because you already in the order before? But see, we don't know exactly how much yeah. Lilith remembers and from the time before she had no memory of even being in the order. Yeah. It was only uh, during the incantation that Alyssa had performed on Lilith that um, had her remember. So that was another thing. I was like, why is everybody so mad at the end of the season? Like, you know it's possible for memories to come back. It's just a matter of if they do. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm also excited to, to see more of the journey to read further. I've only read the two episodes. I haven't read anything past them. Um, but I know that we're really leaning into the comedy this season, which was something that I thought made our uh, show stand out from the other like two supernatural dramas. Um, we said there were like, a lot of elements of comedy in that. And so that's something that, like within the timing of that, that we're really leaning into.